When the Don got news that Tony had brought on war with the Sikhs, he blew his top. L.A. wasn't safe anymore. The Don was putting Tony on a plane to Jamaica to lay low at a safe house while the dust cleared on the fire Tony had left to burn. He begged the Don to let him stay, to give him another chance to make things right. Then at the last minute, they called him back at the gate, and it looked like Tony might even get the chance to show he'd finally changed his ways. He even bit his tongue when the Don offered tribute to Jin Sick to be delivered by Tony himself and withdrawn from his personal accounts. Tony was broke, but determined to finally make his dad proud. But the Don didn't just have a sudden change of heart about his son. Jin Sick had taken something super duper precious from him, something maybe even worth risking Tony's life for. Is that your lunch money in there? Come on and bring you it want to this me. bag, funny guy? You just can walk to get it. Tony Luciano ain't no hey, errand boy. you're late. You bring it here. Couple of minutes and your dad's favorite horse would have been running his races in the afterlife. What horse? I brought your money. That's it. That's what was said. You come here and get it, and we ain't never got to see each other's face again. Oh, no. Your daddy didn't tell you. Look at his extra favorite racing horse, Blue Estate. Traded. Fair and square for you. That's bull. Not my pop. You slants wouldn't understand real family. <laughs> oh, this is the best. Jin Sik is going to piss himself with happiness. Okay, delivery boy. Here's your tip. Pop! What did you do to me? After you get the horse and get him away. Every time, Pop, you choose a horse above your only son. didn't know where the Don Luciano had the place surrounded with snow. But the only thing they had in their sights was the worst fog since the 80s. Take that back! Right. Thank <laughs> you. 
is thicker than my mama's ragu. This is no way to treat your flesh and blood! Well, look at this lost soul. This fog gives me more than my own pop ever did. A cemetery has a special sentimentality. Yeah, I dumped my first girlfriend right around this row somewhere when I was 12. Everybody's a critic. What 
games. Shoot the shark. He's in the shark. I'm keeping this place in business. What I tell you? Oh, this place looks different when you can see it. What's with all the birds? Collections better than you, right?
need more hair gel. reached a part of the graveyard where everyone was touchy. Construction had begun on an elaborate tomb for the late Kim Bong Sing. Tony was literally walking through a future he'd created, like Marty McFly. would be buried with his favorite cars, his favorite yacht. They'd even taken a statue from his own front lawn as a stand-in while a bigger one was made. Say my name, baby. to run around like that. You're gonna hurt yourself. <laughs> I told you, didn't I tell you? Oh, that's it. I'm leaving this place. I still got the Jamaica ticket. Let's see how much party I can buy for a million bucks. Oh, Christ! Oh, Christ! What kind of freaky squint schmidt did I walk into here? You gotta be kidding me. I got the money. I even got the stupid horse. You hear that, Pop? Tony Luciano has won the day! Without no one's help. Day's not over yet. Who in Christ are you supposed to be? I'm the man who dug your grave. Oh, yeah? And who's he? He's the man who's gonna feel it. It looked like Tony's ride had come to an abrupt end, but the Don was still missing a horse, and he'd gained some bad new Eastern European problems. Worse than he'd ever seen. Worse than Khan in Star Trek. 